cell phones, keys, and bags. Thank you and enjoy your day at Welcome to the game For the safety of all guests, you must proceed through a security screening process. See it where you can he gone this is diving back during the off season. They drain the wa drain the water in the splash down. Which my best guess is, which my, actually my guess guess for that is, if the, uh, that would probably freeze over during the winter, and if it did, that would probably cause a lot of damage to the concrete structure. So they would have to replace it like every few years or so. But doing this, it would actually increase that to like every if not like 10, 10 years or so. They might need to do redo the concrete. Mm-hmm. And also, if you look really close to the uh, station there, you can see the trains sitting sitting on standby. All in, they're not in the uh, maintenance bay; they're all on the in the gravel. I guess they do so they can do a hardcore maintenance on it. They tear them, they tear them apart and then build them back together. Ah. But for right now, um, um, we're gonna go back and see Vortex before they tear it down and we're gonna check out Orion before the sun goes down so stay tuned. This is the last look we're gonna have of Vortex before they tear it down and me and the Mystic Rider are really sad they're, it's leaving. Yeah, it, the, it just said uh, this is an amazing coaster and, I've, and I, like I've said in past videos it, it, this is a, was a must ride at King's Island. It was just an amazing ride. Right. But unfortunately, for it, they're tearing down and it definitely would be missed. Yes. But um, the theories are going around to what's replacing it in the near future. And mine and, and the Mystic Rider's theories are it's either going to be an RMC Raptor like Wonder Woman Golden Lasso at uh, Fiesta, Texas. Or... Um, Rail, rail blazer at uh, California's Great America. But or the new upcoming Jersey Devil. Yes, or the Jersey Devil coaster at Great Adventure. However, but um, or and enough, but another theory is it's going to be an RMC T Rex, but um, that's in the prototyping stage right now, so that's not confirmed. But but um, Mr. Grider has another theory besides an RMC model. Well, it, my theory is that if there's a B, if it B and M does take over to to do a third coaster, or on their contract, that they, they, they could do a B and M floorless coaster, kind of like Roguru, or more likely like like a like some of their like a Batman or Dark Batman or Dark Knight coaster. Um, or you mean Dominator Dominion, right? I, I'm talking no, I'm talking about the Dark Knight because I wanted six bikes. Ah. It's a flawless one. Ah. All right. Well, um, like I said, this is the last look that we're gonna have a vortex before they tear it down, and um, we're gonna show you more around Winterfest at King's Island, and we're gonna take a good look at Orion before the sun goes down and the lighting ceremony starts. So we'll see you in a few minutes. So well, we were gonna see if we could see any development of the new area, Area 72, but as you can see, they fenced it off and blocked it with Christmas trees and two trash cans. So, so we can't even get close enough to just peek through through the fence. Nope, not this time. We did get a peek at behind the fence when they were when Flight of Fear area was still open, but they apparently wrapped it up and we can't see anything behind the fence this time. So better luck. Well, We'll just have to wait till the till the spring to see what Area 72 is gonna look like. So we're gonna we're heading to the lighting ceremony, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Warning, do not enter.
Mandatory and ongoing lockdown has been ordered for the Miami River Lumber Company. All right, guys, we just got off Mystic Timbers, and we and we are now freezing to death. So, um, I think I lost. Oh, there, oh, there he is. But yeah, we're now freezing to death since we just got off of uh, Mystic Timbers. Yeah, and I just did that thing blindfolded. It, it's actually a lot, a lot crazier if you don't if you don't know what's coming. Yep. And now we're heading to into the 12 Days of Christmas train ride, and we'll show you some footage of it. Uh, we'll see you on the train. Yep. Alright, we just got off the 12 days of a uh, Christmas train ride. They did a little different this year besides the 12 days of Christmas lights. They did uh, Frosty, Santa, and uh, hippo, a bunch of hippos. A bunch of uh, Christmas hippos. Well, they had all uh, the songs that they had that, that they added was Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. It, 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 last year, well, that means to start off with saying last year it was just nothing but 12 days of Christmas songs, but just different variants of the song. But this year, it, it, it had Frosty, it, Frosty Snowman, which obviously the reasons because there was Frosty. They had the Hippopotamus because there was another song that there, Carol song that they had. I just don't remember the name of. I, we believe the last one was we. I I won a purple Hippopotamus for Christmas, yeah. but we're not. I'm not positive on that. But we're gonna check out more of Winterfest, and we'll see you in a little bit. Alright guys, we just got off of the uh, toboggan slides um, that, that is called uh, Snow Works. This is the first time me or John the Mystic Rider has ever have been on them. And well, th those type of tube slides I, I usually try to avoid if I ever go to a ski resort. But in this case, since it was my first time, I actually enjoyed it. And, it, and the, it's one of the a few things here that is not an upcharge. So um, if you want to come to Winterfest, I highly recommend going on the Snowworks uh, toboggan slide. Although it depends on if you're if you're into that kind of thing. Because if you if you want a you know, throw, throwing right, you don't really get that. Yeah. Unless you somehow, yeah. uh, like the Gemini man here, go off the edge. Yeah, I almost uh, was going so fast I almost flew off until a until a, a supervisor stopped me with his foot. But like I said. Highly recommend if you guys check out the Snowworks uh, toboggan slides here at Winterfest at Kings Island. Um, right now, we're going to go check out some of the merch in the stores, and we'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, he got butchered because of that train. This is one of the new um, new uh, things for Winterfest merch this year. It's uh, what they have a Winterfest hoodie, and it has matching mugs and uh, tumbler cups too. Speaking of mugs, the, the new mug, the new Winterfest mug. Yep. And it's the same thing as if you get the souvenir cups at during the regular season. It's it's a twelve dollar charge for the first 
for when you first get it, and then afterwards, it's a it's free for the whole day, and if you come back a second time or for the rest of the winter fest, it's it's only a one dollar upcharge. It pretty much works the same way as the as the souvenir cups during the regular season. Yep, exactly the same. Yep. But um, we're gonna check out more merch and show you, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Oh. Okay, guys. Apparently, uh, from um, the uh, Mystic Rider just noted something on the map for Winterfest. Apparently, Santa Claus is taking a ride on Mystic Timbers on the map. Yeah, uh, I think he lost a couple of reindeer on the process. Yep. So you know, yeah, that's a little Easter egg for on their Winterfest map. We're gonna go check out more merch, and we'll see you in a few. <laughs>
right guys well um as you saw that we just um, went into the fest house to watch tinker's toy factory however you know probably noticed that i stopped a little bit early because they um i was afraid that um due to copyright strikes i would we were a little bit nervous of filming the rest of the performance so just for safety reasons we stopped recording due to us uh, maybe not um we were a little bit we stopped recording mid in the early part of the performance because we were afraid we would get copyright striked over all the christmas songs like uh one was spoonful of sugar so we didn't want to get copyright strike over that so just to be safe we record stopped recording early so um for right now we're just going to um this is about it's about time for us to to uh If you all heard that, that means that the uh, park's about to, is going to close in a few minutes and Winterfest is ending for the night. So, on behalf of me, John the Mystic Rider, and everyone at Coaster Facts, we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year.